you often hear someone joke about the government spying on us. But sadly, that is true. That's true in our country today. Current law allows the U.S. government to collect data on you. It's Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA. But House Republicans, under the leadership of Speaker Johnson, are on the verge of reauthorizing FISA. This is the same law that the FBI used and abused, mind you, to spy on President Trump's campaign, providing the impetus for the shameless, false, ridiculous Russian collusion scandal. To prevent such a tragedy from happening to other Americans, conservatives have worked in good faith throughout the reauthorization process to protect Americans' Fourth Amendment rights from deep state agencies like the FBI and the NSA. Unfortunately, the House Intelligence Committee and the D.C. Swamp are working overtime to make sure that FISA is reauthorized in a secret way, uh, as secretly as possible, and putting the constitutional rights of millions of Americans, instead of up front, on the back burner. During this debate today with my colleagues who are assembled here, you're going to hear, or not during this, from my colleagues, but during the, the larger debate, you'll hear false narratives about this bill, supposedly restricting law enforcement from doing their job and hampering our ability to keep the country safe. And those claims, frankly, are false. Simply put, anonymous bureaucrats have abused this tool that was intended for foreign surveillance or of threats to spy on American citizens. But conservatives are fighting for strict reforms to this law. FISA was reauthorized in 2018. Since then, the world has changed from both a national security standpoint and a technologically advanced standpoint that has resulted in more of your data being in the hands of the tech companies. We need to find that balance between keeping the nation safe while protecting you from big government and prominently has to be the rights of U.S. citizens, the free constitutional freedoms that are protected to us by this country. The judiciary bill was overwhelmingly approved on a bipartisan basis. It turns out Democrats don't want to be spied on by their government either. At the end of the day, we've got to make sure that our government can't keep spying on its citizens without a warrant, that we can't keep buying data that would otherwise require a warrant, that the federal government cannot expand the spying to cover local private Wi-Fi hotspots, and that we can't allow the government, this Congress, to allow more ways for the federal government to spy on us.